a tiny Eastern Africa country with less than a million people in it. Djibouti, however, is one of the giants when it comes to economic potentials. The country's strategic location, coupled with major investments, has got this nation on the map of fast-growing countries. However, Djibouti is still home for many of its poor citizens. The government here wants to change that. And here at City on the Sea, about 12 kilometers from downtown Djibouti, the collaboration of uh, the government of Djibouti and the Chinese companies working in the port and uh, free zone will see the construction of 1,000 houses to be given to the society here. President Ismail Omar Gile has launched this project, which is aimed at building 1,000 houses every year. He also wants to create many more jobs here. Thousands and thousands of jobs uh, because our vocation is to uh, create jobs, to tackle poverty, to uh, en enhance the, the, the growth of our country. The people are happy that projects like this are finally delivering the government's promises, but they obviously want more. We, the people, as you can see, always welcome these kind of projects. We are indeed happy, but we still need more, and I hope and believe the government will deliver. To make its uh, dreams come true, Djibouti has got a hand from a big brother from the east. China has already invested billions of dollars in this country. Djibouti is confident it would do more through its companies. We are going through with the, with the uh, cooperation of our uh, main partners, Chinese. What we are doing here to support the people to support the society, to, so, to support the development of uh, Djibouti. We're standing by, uh, standing on the side of the uh, Djibouti government. They are working for the people, for the job, for the employment, for their prosperity. We will do more. It's just beginning. Group Jala, CGTN, Djibouti. Am I the reason you get stoned every week now? Build up integrity, got you texting, emailing me, wanting me to feel with you. Baby, just face reality, move on. Sometimes it's hard to face reality.